Today I want to give you a little review of our um, espresso machine, the Becerra Unica. And um, I'm just going to show you all the different things that we usually do when we want to make us a uh, cappuccino. Um, first of all, of course, we start with the beans. Uh, luckily we have um, a coffee shop very close by and we always buy the beans here and they are very oily and fresh. So um, I usually measure the amount of beans just like that. Of course you could use a scale um, to be more precise, but this is usually a good amount for both of us. Then I fill it in the mill and then I need the, how do you call it? What is it? The, I don't know. This. Call it in English. Yeah, okay, so we need that. Um, we already know what size we need to grind the beans. Okay, so that is probably already enough to have an even plane or surface. And now we're gonna temp it with a temper. Usually I put it on there and I turn it a little bit to, to make it even. And then you have to push it evenly so that you get a very equal extraction from the beans, right? So then I clean it up, not to mess up the machine. Use this little brush for that and then we flush it again not to burn the beans then we mount it here and then we need the glasses of course I like to use these glasses here they look very pretty of course you could try to preheat them with hot water but for us it's okay like that and as you can see, it's a very oily uh, coffee. Usually we should have like 30 seconds of extraction. We just wait until it gets uh, rather thin and until we have a good amount of coffee. I think that's enough. And now we have to change the temperature, so it's going from 91 degrees Celsius to uh, I think 109. So the machine has to heat up. There are different machines uh, with different uh, chambers. So if you have multiple chambers, then you might not need to heat it up. But this small machine uh, needs to be heated up. So we take it out. The, the carrier, whatever it is, take it out. We flush it again to clean it and empty out the coffee. And I usually also clean it here in the sink. And so the next time it's already ready to use it again. Um, and of course now we need the milk. So I usually use this uh, can and there are, we also have other cans. This can for example is a little thinner and it gets hotter quicker. This is a little thicker from the metal and you know, I like prefer this one actually but you could also of course use this one. You just have to try it out. And with this machine now it's heated up as you can see. 109 degrees and what I usually do is I 
uh, empty out all the water. As you can see here, there's still steam and water coming out. And usually with the Becerra Unica, it's good to let the temperature decrease and wait for it to reheat again. And then you also have enough power with the steam. Now we of course also need a towel, a wet towel to clean up to clean up the milk later on. So just on the surface. I have my I hold my hand like that and then I know when it's getting too hot then I basically stop the milk from being steamed. Somehow this machine always delivers a better milk with the second steaming process. So we're gonna do it again another time, but of course you can also use that milk. Then do the polish. As you can see, very small bubbles. And then we try to do some sort of latte art. No. Okay. And usually I have a little bit of milk left. This is also. I mean, you shouldn't throw it away, we just drink it and it's a good advice to do that because on the very top is the most foam and you can't really use it for latte art. So I just pour it here in another cup and we drink it. You should always try to add this little twirl like that the milk really goes to the bottom and mixes up with the, with the air. Okay, there's milk again. And here you can already see that this milk is a little thicker because it sticks to the yeah to this pipe here. Okay, so we clean it again. And now I can also change the temperature again. We have to cool it down for the next coffee. Okay. It's a little hard for Helen. Yeah. Yeah, so that is basically it. Now we've got two nice cappuccinos. Very freshly made. And um, yeah, now we're also pretty happy with our outcome. Um, we had to take some time to really get experience with uh, making the cappuccino at the beginning. Also with the latte art, it was very hard. Either the foam was too thick or it was too thin. So now we pretty much know what we have to do. And yeah, we enjoy it very much uh, almost every day. <laughs>